Welcome to the Nifty Fingers YouTube channel. This is part two of a tutorial for the guitar solo in Coily by Osric Denigals. Uh, the part we left off on was the uh Alright, so then uh, that basically leads into the uh, the next part here. Um, this riff is actually from an, an earlier Osric song. I, I can't recall the name of it, but uh, they kind of do that sometimes. They throw riffs uh, in different songs. So um, this one is going to start up on the, uh, the 13th fret here, the B string. It's going to sound like this. Alright, so, uh, and that pattern repeats itself a few more times. So, uh, you start off here 13th fret as a B string, and then you go up to 16, down a string to 15. Now, the next triad, you slide down a position, put your first finger in the 12th fret, and you got a, basically a major triad with this pattern. And then uh, you go uh, first finger, 12th fret of the D string, the fourth string. You go 12, 15, then down the next string to uh, 15. And then you got this little uh, lick that's like tacked on to the end of it. You start uh, 12 on the D string. So that's basically the um, first four notes of a, a major scale. So you go uh, 12, uh, hammer on uh, 13, pull off 12, then down a string to 15 with your pinky, and then hammer off 13, then go down to the 11th position, play the 11 on the A string with your uh, first finger, and then hammer on to uh, the 13th fret, then do a half step end, and then you play uh, 13 down a string, or 11 down a string to 13. Alright, so in the next one, uh, I find it easiest to start up here on the, uh, on the, in the in the same spot, so you play 13 on the B string with your first finger. So that's uh, basically the same starting. You play 13th fret with your first finger, then up to 16, and then down a string 15, then 12th position, use your first finger to hit the 12th fret on the G, G string, third string, and that major triad. And then this riff here, you start uh, first finger, 12th fret on the fourth string. Then with your third finger, you want to hit the uh, 13th fret. And you want to hit the 13th slide up to 15. And go up to the G string with your first finger, play 13. And then play 15, bend 15. And then you got this uh, 13, 13, 13 alternating strings. That part there is a 16th uh, fret on the B string, then 13th fret on the E string, and 16 on the B string bend. And then uh, for the third riff, I like to move down to the 8th position, because I find it a little bit easier to play. Uh, so you basically go first uh, finger on the 8th string on the 8th fret on the 1st string. Use your pinky to hit that high note there on the 11th. And then down to the B string with your 3rd finger. That's the next riff there. Uh, 8 with uh, your 1st finger. Do a little bar there. And uh, then play with your pinky the 13th fret. And then down to the 8th fret on the G string. 
going to slide down to the uh, seventh fret, first finger, and you go seven up a string, seven, ten, then down a string to ten. Now this next part is one of the uh, the fast parts that uh, probably take a bit more uh, repetition just to kind of get the feel for it. So uh, it sounds like this basically. Uh, Ed, I think uh, the way he plays it uh, is going to be. Whichever way you find easiest, I guess you can practice. I'll just do uh, this way because that's the way I do it. So uh, you basically start first uh, you two. So uh, uh, so you start seventh fret uh, with your first finger on the G string. You want to pick that note. Then you hammer on eight ten. Then you tap fifteenth uh, fret. Then pull off. To ten, then pull off to eight, then pull off to seven. Then you hammer on the ten on the next low string. And that's pretty much the pattern. You just repeat it. So uh, with the riff, it's going to sound like this. Just pretty much stick them together. The timing is not too important. And now the, uh, the fourth uh, riff, again, I find it easiest to start on this eighth fret down here. So again, that starts off eighth fret on the uh, first string. Then you play 11, down a string 11. Then eight, uh, 11, down a string eight. And then this is where it gets different. So you play 8 on the B string, up to 11, down a string to uh, 8, which you slide up to 10. And then with your pinky, you get 13 on the B string. And just chromatically uh, descend down. And you want to hit this uh, 13 on the G string with your third finger. Or if you got a whammy bar, you can. Uh, just throw in a bit of uh, pitch variation there. So that's that part. And now uh, when the bass uh, goes down to uh, E flat, uh, these are notes you're playing here, you start with the, the E flat note on the uh, A string. And that's, that's going to be uh, two beats plus a 30 second note. So it's one, two, three. Really quick. You do that slide with your third finger. 8, slide up to 9, slide back down 8. And then you want to uh, get 9 with your 3rd uh, finger, and then slide up to 11. And you want to get 8 on the next string up with your 1st finger, slide up to 11. Then you go up a string to 11, 12, 14. Up a string, 11, 14, down a string with your third finger, 14, then down a string with your second finger, 13. And you want to play two notes, or uh, so what that sounds like. So you're, you're basically playing five notes, two of them are slow, three of them are tremolo. Then you want to go to the 11th position with your first finger on the B string. Play uh, 12 with your second finger, slide up to 14. And then go down 13 with your first finger on the G string. And do a pick a 13 grace note and fall down to 11. Then you're going to do 13 with your third finger, up a string, a really quick uh, hammer on pull off, 11, 12, 11. And then down two strings, 
to the 13. Then you got this uh, kind of little pickup riff on the fourth beat. So that's going to be 11, 13 on the D string, 11, 13 on the G string. Then you slide up to 10 on the third or G string. So then uh, up to speed, uh, that next part is going to sound like this. We'll just uh, go that far for now. So, um, so when you slide into that tenth part, you slide up to ten with your uh, middle finger. And uh, how are we doing for time, by the way? Uh, Almost running out, so we'll just get to the end of this phrase. So uh, you slide in the ten with your middle finger, then first finger down a string, and then you want to get uh, you kind of do like a switch. Uh, you switch both positions, and you go up a finger. You're going down positions, up a finger, right? So. Um, Trill between seven and eight on the D string, and then hit the ten on the high next highest string with your pinky, and down a string. You want to do seven, and then you want to do a quick trill, hammer on pull off eight to seven, then down a string to ten. And then we got another fast part here. And that's where I guess we'll end the video on that uh, fast part. So um, the notes for that, you're going to start by picking seven on the D string. And you want to hammer, you basically tap everything after that. There's no picking after that. So you go seven, hammer on to eight, hammer on to ten, then pull off, seven, eight, ten again. And then you tap twelve. Then you pull off 7, hammer on 10, pull off 7, hammer on 8, hammer on 10, tap 12, pull off to 7, hammer on to 8, hammer on to 10, and you pull off and on the 7 and do this bend. So what that sounds like? Uh, When you do it up to speed, uh, try you. You don't really have to play the notes exactly like that, but um, if you stick to notes, but uh, these are notes I guess that uh, I heard in the recording. So uh, if you if you go by this, you kind of get that really nice like kind of floaty sound with all the notes in there and that nice bend on the end. And then after that, you just basically go, uh, you play, uh, it's a sixth fret there, and then eight hammer off six, then down a string to eight, then eight slide up to eleven with your third finger. And you hit uh, six twice, and with your pinky, you want to hit uh, the uh, these two notes, which that starts on tenth fret on the G string. And again, that's one of the more trickier ones to play when you, it kind of comes at you out of nowhere when you're playing playing along with the song. So, um, so just be ready for it, basically. And uh, we're pretty much out of time there now. So, see you in the next video.